Hey y'all and welcome back to Caitlin's Corner. So we are still celebrating Earth Day this week and I have for y'all today Earth my first 4.54 billion years. So that's how old Earth is right now. <laughs> so if you're ready we're going to get started okay. Earth, Earth, Earth. Okay. Hi, my name is Earth. Some people call me the blue marble. That could work, right? Or the third planet from the sun. But you can call me planet awesome. So there's Earth saying hello. My family is really, 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 really big. So look at their holiday card. Happy holidays. We've got what Saturn and Neptune and Uranus and Jupiter and Venus and Mercury, Earth, Mars, Pluto over out here. I'm glad they included little Pluto. I have seven siblings in my solar system. I'm closest to Venus and Mars. Some used to say I have eight siblings, but Pluto is more like the family pet. Oh my goodness. And then there are my cousins. My Milky Way family has billions of planets. Told you, a big family. My favorite things to do are spinning. It takes me a whole day to go around once. Oh my goodness. And circling the sun, that takes me an entire year. So it takes Earth a whole day to spin one time by itself. But to circle the sun, it takes the whole year. My best friend is the moon. We hang out all the time, even when you can't see her. The moon needs 27 days, 7 hours, 43 minutes, and 12 seconds to go around me. I've timed her. <laughs> so the moon also circles the earth. I was born 4.54 billion, with a B, years ago. I don't remember what it was like to be a baby. Who does? But I've been told I was a hot mess. Goodness. So this is Earth looking through the picture album, looking back. Supposedly that's Earth. Let's see what this says. Explosive gassy and very cranky baby earth goodness then I started to cool off and things got uh wet really wet it rained for thousands of years I'm not kidding thousands so there's rain after it was really hot it got really wet I was soggy and lonely. A few islands popped up in my oceans, but no plants or animals. So poor Earth was lonely and soggy and wet. My islands must have been lonely too. They got together and made bigger islands called continents. I remember your and Nana Nuna and the ginormous Pangea. There's all the continents connected and it's called Pangea. But then Pangea split into seven separate continents. Things are always changing around here. So we've got North America, we've got South America, we've got Africa, we've got Europe, in Asia, in Australia, in Antarctica. 
as I got older, stuff began to grow. So let's see. This is Earth arriving the 4.54 billion years ago, okay? So, almost half my life, you probably wouldn't even recognize me, though I've always been round. 2.4 billion years ago, air. If anyone had been alive, they could finally take a breath. 4.7 million years ago, plants that can live on land started arriving, okay? So that's over here in the green. So we have, it's half-life, we have, we can breathe air right here. Then over here in the green, we have plants now. Buzz. 400 million years ago, then came the bugs. And that's way over here. Remember, that's, Earth was born over here. 240 million years ago, my first dinosaur over here right after the plants and animal, the bugs came, we have a dinosaur. 210 million years ago, yay for mammals, they're fuzzy and warm. So we have our first mammals arriving right after the dinosaurs. 150 million years ago, Birds, did you know they are relatives of the dinosaurs? So birds arriving right after the mammals. And then 130 million years ago, flowers. I'm a very pretty planet. It's not bragging if it's true. So we have our flowers now. And then 200,000 years ago, the Homo sapiens. You humans have big brains and walk on two feet, arriving here. So the first humans recorded Homo sapiens 200,000 years ago. Can you count that far? You probably could, but it would take a long time. So the time of the dinosaurs was one of my favorites. I mean, everyone loves dinosaurs. They lived with me for 175 million years. Until, look at all the dinosaurs. Until what? Until asteroid. So we have an asteroid getting ready to strike planet Earth. Planet Earth looks scared. It's not always easy being Earth. Volcanic eruptions, ice ages, and major collisions. So we have our volcanoes erupting, we have our ice age, and we have major collisions like the asteroid. But on the inside, I'm the same planet awesome. Look at Earth with its shade zone. So on the inside, we have the innermost layer is called the inner core. Then we have a, another ring surrounding that inner core, which is the outer core. So that makes sense, inner core, and then the outer core. And then outside of the outer core is this layer, which is the mantle. And on the very outermost part, the part where we see the land and the water, that's called the crust. Humans have been super fun. No other species has ever been interested in learning about me. Other animals are nice, but they mostly eat and poop and never wonder about my amazing life. So the humans spend a lot of time studying the earth and the earth is flattered. But sometimes humans forget to share and play. Play nice and clean up after themselves. Oh no. So when they don't share, when we don't share, when we don't play nice and we don't clean after ourselves, it's not very good for the earth, is it? Still, I bet you, you humans will turn out to do really great things. 
We love you, Earth. I bet you will turn out to do great things, too. And that is the end of that one. So I hope you enjoyed it. I thought it was super cute. And it's from the Earth's perspective like it was a living thing. So I thought that was fun. So thank you all for tuning in to our Earth Day series this week. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye.